Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Uh... Don't worry, Emmett. I'm sure you'll get it right someday. Oh, I'm not worried about that. Right now, I'm more concerned with Einstein. Uh, okay, so... Why don't you take a break from Einstein Patrol for a minute? Maybe go see a movie or something. Movie. Thanks for the offer, Sonny. Once Emmett Lathrop Brown sets his mind on a task, nothing can distract him from his purpose. And right now, that purpose is rescuing your dog. Uh, what went wrong with your rocket car? I'm not entirely sure. As soon as we get Einstein down, I'm gonna go look for it. What's up with you and Edna? A couple months ago, I could swear she was making goo-goo eyes at you. That was before my father had her stay sober society meeting thrown out of our house. Now she takes every opportunity she can get to snipe at me and my work. It's very distracting. Ah. That was a subtle clue. Uh, I'm gonna ask this last one, but I'm pretty sure we're gonna have to involve Edna. Do you know anything about Officer Danny Parker? My pop says he's a good cop when he's not drinking. Good. Of course, now I hear he drinks all the time. Okay, well, so... Well, I'll go off and see if I can get some help. You do that. I'll stay here and see if I can think of a way to get Einy off that ledge. Yeah, so we're gonna have to distract him with Edna. 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 Hey, Edna. Oh, Mr. Crockett, what can I do for you? Uh, uh. What's going on with you and Emmett? The last time I saw you, you seemed to be kind of interested in him. That was before I belatedly realized that his agreement to host my Stay Sober Society was a clever ruse to ferry barrels of hooch to his so-called laboratory. Sorry about that. Now his very presence fills me with an irrepressible urge to pick at his philosophical and intellectual foundations with every tool in my vocabulary. So you're oh. not dating? Dating? <laughs> the mere thought of romantic involvement with that undisciplined techno-anarchist is preposterous. Good. So how about you go and argue with him? Uh, dogs. What have you got against dogs, anyway? They're smelly, rude, completely unable to take care of themselves, and frankly, they're not very bright. If I had my druthers, dogs would be banned from public places. Harsh. It's a harsh world, Mr. Crockett. Well, I guess we're gonna have to run these down. What are you doing out here in the middle of the night? Saving people from alcohol, vice, and disorder. And also keeping a lookout for hot stories. You'd be surprised how much news breaks on this corner. Broken any stories tonight? Only the usual. Mayor Thomas trying to slink out of the speakeasy. Frankie Needles crashing his car into a fire hydrant. Nothing that'll get me the front page. Hey, I got a hot lead for you. Oh, what is it? Oh, yeah, this one. Young scientist strands dog on courthouse roof. What? Look over there. Oh, for goodness sake. Mr. Brown. Please, Miss Strickland, not now. Can't you see I've got a rather delicate situation on my hands at the moment? My trial run... Trial run? Public hazard, I call it. And I'm sure my editor will agree. This scientific enterprise of yours represents a clear and present danger to public you safety. You know what represents a clear and present danger to public safety? Your singing voice. There's no need to get personal, Mr. Brown. Believe me, I have no intention of getting personal with you. I'm relieved to hear it. Flying Why cars you of get all it the ridiculous You mock notions. me, but just imagine. A world in which traffic jams and car crashes are a thing of the past. I might be more inclined to listen to you if your maiden voyage hadn't ended in a crash on one roof and a stranded dog on another. I'm working on getting him down. <gasps> Heine, how'd you get down? Clever dog. Well, fortune favors you tonight. 
but I warn you to be more careful in the future. Now, how to get that rocket car back down? Okay. Wait, so uh, I was looking for Arthur, right? Uh, yeah. Now uh, I can have. Yeah, I can have uh, Einstein find him. Hey, boy, take away for this. You gotta love that nose. I've been laying low, officer. But I've got to go to the pictures once in a while. Hello, Arthur. Officer? I'll take it from here. But, but... We can talk at the Majestic, away from prying eyes. Yeah, Einstein, you done good. Okay, now what? Uh... So, Emmett's gonna get his big idea while watching Frankenstein, huh? I guess that explains a lot about Doc. So, do I go to the flop house as well? Uh, where the hell am I? Oh, here. Okay. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Uh, yeah. Is Artie still yeah. here? He's in the bathroom. Hey, Artie, open up. You've got a gangster to bring down. Is it time for me to meet this Sylvia? No, it's time for you to meet Trixie. Trixie says she's got something that might be able to send Kid up the river, but that you're the only one she trusts to check it out. Me? What is she? Oh, I know what she's done. Clever. Care to let us in on the secret? Sorry, guys, but if Trixie's keeping it a secret, then so am I. That's all well and good, Mr. McFly, but if you and Trixie are going to collaborate on this evidence, we'll need to arrange a rendezvous. Well, Trixie's chained to kids' speakeasy. So we'll have to bring Arthur to Trixie. Uh-uh. No way am I getting anywhere near that place again. I don't know how you talked me into this. <sighs> Just stay back here in the shadows and don't come out until you see Trixie. You're sure I'll be safe here? Perfectly safe. We yeah. never make you take any unnecessary. <gasps> <laughs> Sagan. Where's Kid? Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Uh, so I'm uh, gonna have to get Trixie out here. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Well, I don't know. Let's go to her. Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Guess who's waiting in the alley to talk with you? Huddy? The one and only. It wasn't easy to track him down. I had Come to- Come up for me, Q-Ball. I'm taking a smoke break. Had a girl. Uh-oh. Hey, you! Huh? Yeah, jerk. I saw you making eyes at my Eunice. Who? Sorry, pal. I don't have time for a fight. Why, you? I'll never get to Carnegie Hall at this rate. All right, fella. I think you're done for the night. Hey, where do you think you're going? Me? Yeah, you. What do you know about this? Uh, nothing, I... Ah! Uh, that's not a good sign. Trixie? Break silver cue ball. Whatever you say, babe. What was that? Uh, can I... Uh, Trixie? What happened? Yeah? yeah, what happened? What happened in the alley with Arthur? I don't want to talk about it. 
What about your insurance policy? There ain't no insurance policy. After tonight, I'm tossing it in the furnace and burning it up. Uh -huh. Come on, Trixie, can't you tell me what happened out there? No! Then at least give me the evidence you got on Kid. No, I made a deal with myself. As soon as tonight's set is over, the evidence goes up in smoke. Damn. Uh... Break a leg out there. Thanks. Uh, well, I guess I gotta look myself. Ew. Cabbage crates. Must be for the soup. I can't leave now. Artie's waiting. Yeah. Uh, oh, wait. There's... I can see that. There's blood on the floor. Artie? <laughs> you missed a hell of a party, buddy. Kid! Well, what happened? Oh, you're gonna love this. So, I'm hanging out in the club when all of a sudden I get an urge to drain the lizard, right? I come out into the alley, and who do I see? None other than that scrawny, subpoena-answering rat, Artie McFly. And get this! The little worms whisper in a way I'll conquistadorial like with my Trixie! Oh no. Naturally, I pull out Kid Jr. and prepare to put a couple bullets in McFly's head. Which causes Artie's nose to stop bleeding because he's a big wuss. And then... <laughs> and then... <laughs> what? Trixie literally gets down on the knees and begs me to let him live! <laughs> huh? Seriously, down on the knees crying and begging for McFly's life! So, uh, what did you do? What could I do? I fired two shots in the air and told Artie to take a hike. Huh, that was merciful. Hey, I got plenty of mercy. Besides, now Trixie owes me big time. And Kid Tannen always collects on his debts. Always. Uh, okay. Oh. Huh? But... Okay, so do I go find Arthur again? Yeah, let's let's see if he's back at the house. Hey, Doc, I could use a little help. What's the problem? Things are getting worse, Doc. In order to keep Artie safe, Trixie's gonna destroy her evidence against Tannen. You have to stop her! How? The only thing that would make her turn on Kid now is if she welched on the deal and killed my grandfather. Well, you can't let that happen. Okay. Are you sure Tannen's supposed to be arrested by Officer Parker? The guy's a mess. Mess or no mess, I'm absolutely certain that Parker's your man. You wouldn't happen to know any good ways of faking a death, would you? Well, several. Well, fake. Well, they all rely okay. on technology we really don't want to expose to the residents of 1931. So we gotta fake his death. Okay. Or we Okay, gotta... I better get back to fixing history. Be careful, Marty. Take his death, or at least uh, convince Trixie that he's dead. I don't know why, if he's dead, wouldn't that just scare her more? But okay. 
Oh, I guess she doesn't have to protect me. Then. So I don't know. I'll go and talk to Trixie again. Welcome back, sir. What's it gonna take to get Trixie to squeal on Kid? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? About Artie McFly. What about him? Have you heard from him? Is he okay? Mm, he's not. I think something bad might have happened to him. What? You mean Kid went back on his promise? Uh, yeah, uh, that's right. Oh no! Oh, poor Artie! Poor sweet little Artie! I know. That rattlesnake kid! He can't get away with this! You gonna turn over the evidence you got against him? Am I ever! Just watch me! Wait a minute! What evidence do you have that kid bumped Artie off? Um, it's just a hunch. Oh, damn it. Keep your hunches for the racetrack. It ain't nice to get a girl all worked up over unsubstantiated rumors. Okay, so I gotta get some sort of uh, some fake, some sort of evidence. Okay. Uh, hmm. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Okay. Parker. Okay. Matches. Let's go. Hey! Matches. Take a hike, Squirt. Oh, okay, so let's not go to matches. Hey, bartender. What'll it be? Uh, yeah. So about this, uh portrait gallery of yours. What about it? What's it all about? Who are those guys? <clears throat> the caricatures hanging along the Wall of Honor commemorate those who are no longer with us on account of having tipped off one Irving Kid Tannen. Uh. Are the guys the kids killed? Well, of course not. They're just a bunch of guys that Kid didn't particularly like and that at a later date turned up dead. It's a, a, what do you call it? A, a circumstantial coincidence. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so can you draw one of, uh, Hardy? What are you drawing? Another celebrity caricature. You drew those? Prohibition ain't gonna last forever, Bob. I gotta have a skill I can fall back on when all this goes away. Think you yeah. could do a caricature of me? Sure. Presto! That really doesn't look like me. I didn't have much to work with. Uh... Oh. I'm looking for a cop named yeah, Parker. Yeah, he's at the Dan, bar. This is your lucky night. He's sitting next yeah. to you. Stupid question. Him? Yep. Quite a sob story, that guy. Sob story? Oh, yeah. Job troubles, dame troubles, psychiatric troubles, you name it. You get him in the right frame of mind, he'll talk your ear off about him. Yeah, I'm guessing we're uh, going to have to talk to him later. First, we've got to convince Trixie, and I guess then we're going to have to convince Officer Parker to do his job. Uh, yeah, Do you know what I'll happened to Trixie that. out there? She seems pretty freaked out. You talk weird, you know that? But no, I don't know nothing about Trixie's emotional state. Kid doesn't pay me nearly enough to pour drinks and babysit his crazy girlfriends. So is your cold all better? My cold? Yeah, when I saw you a few hours ago, you were sneezing like crazy. Mister, I ain't had a cold in over two months. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, God. Uh, okay, so... Who are you working on again? now? Boris Karloff. What do you think? Not bad. Okay, uh... Thanks for the talk. 
Next time, order a drink. This ain't no library, you know. So I need to get him to draw. Oh, he draw me, but that doesn't look like Artie. That's my dad. Could he use that? You think you could draw a picture of this guy? Sure. Hey, that looks like that Artie McFly ah. thing. Hmm, I never noticed that before. Hey, uh, can you give him a hat like Artie wears? Voila! <laughs> nice job. Now, go tell them chumps at the New Yorker. Okay, so can I now show that to uh, this one? Use it on Trixie. I don't think anyone will be interested in this caricature until it's hanging on the wall of Kids Club. Okay, then how do we get it there? Uh. I, put it I don't think anyone will be interested in this caricature until it's hanging on the wall of Kids Club. Can I get... Oh, can I reach it from here? Uh... There. Sorry about this, Dad. Okay, so now do I talk to Trixie? Uh, Trixie? Yeah? Mm, yeah. I don't know how to tell you this, but I think you should check out the Wall of Fame. Why? What is it? Artie! I don't believe it! We had a deal! Artie was supposed to be... Safe. I don't know what to say. Well, I do. Felony tax evasion. What? Before he died, Artie was teaching me about all sorts of stuff. Literature, history, accounting. And I made a big discovery while I was copying all of kids' books. This establishment ain't entirely on the up and up. Really? Oh, I knew about all the gangster stuff. That kind of thing you expect from tough guys like Hid. But when I found out he ain't been paying taxes on his speakeasy profits, well, cheating Uncle Sam is one step over the line. Once I turn this over to the police, they'll throw the book at him. This book? Hey, copper! Yeah, I'm not sure he's gonna do his job in this state. What, we're gonna have to sober him up or what? He's not interested. Figures. Half the police force is in Tannen's pocket. Give me a few minutes to work on him. I've yeah. got a hunch he'll come around. So, okay. Boss? Do you mind? I'm trying to have a good time here. I think you'll want to see this. Are you crazy? Bringing a stick of dynamite into my club? That's just it, boss. It's all over the place. I think our speakeasy arsonist is getting ready to strike again. <laughs> okay. What's with all the secret doors in this place? Uh, I'm pretty sure that will come in handy later. Uh, I guess we'll go talk to Officer Parker. Ah, uh, here he is. Hey, I know you. You're Parker. Oscar Danny Danny Parker. Hill Valley PD. Uh, have we met? Y you look familiar. So nah. we're gonna have to well, sober stranger, him up. Sit down and have a drink on me. So do we need Edna to get him into the sober society? Oh, it's just. I hear you've been having troubles. Troubles, buddy. 
Nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Nobody. Want to talk about them? The do, do I? Seen. Do I? Yeah, I do. Listen, it all started when this car. Every morning, oh, damn it. Every evening, ain't we got fun? Not much money, oh, but honey, ain't we got fun? Whoopee! Yeah, dear. now about those we troubles. Oh, I don't want to wallow but in misery. I came here to get happy. Hallelujah! In the winter, in the summer, okay. don't be a bomb. So about those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want to party! Hooray! Uh, should you be drinking so much on duty? Probably not, but this joint ain't open when I'm off duty. Shouldn't you be arresting Tannen? For what? Well, for running a speakeasy, for one thing. Well, I like this speakeasy. So there. Besides, if I arrested him, I'd have to arrest you and me and everyone else in here. And that's just way too much work for one little cop like me. Okay. So about those troubles. Troubles? Ha! <laughs> I don't want to talk about all that depressing stuff. I want a party! Whee! Okay. Uh, See you later, Danny. I'll be here. I'm we'll supposed to get this party. guy to arrest Kid Tannen tonight? Yeah, can I ask Trixie to uh, sing a different song? Uh, she's, Trixie? She's way too yeah. happy. Uh, take Do you know Sister Christian? I don't do religious tunes. Oh. Uh. I don't care. But what are those? Are they lyrics for one of your songs? I haven't memorized them yet. Hey, your songs seem to have a big effect on Officer Parker over there. I am humbled and gratified that my musical gifts have fallen upon such receptive ears. Still working on those I don't care lyrics? What can I say? Memorizing ain't my strong suit. Okay. Break a leg out there. Thanks. Uh. Yeah. I don't care. It's the lyrics to her song. Oh, I can pick it up? Way down in Louisiana, down in New Orleans. Eh, may maybe not. <laughs> hey, I do the singing round here. Yeah, okay. Uh, sheet music. Oh, I can maybe mix up the order. Oh, my mel uh, my melancholy babe. Oh, okay, so... Uh, I don't care. Angry song, secret song. Happy song. No, we don't want an happy song. We want a sad song. So we can talk about the troubles. Come to me, my melancholy baby. Cuddle up and don't. All your fears are foolish okay. fancy, maybe. You know, dear, that I'm in love with you. Yeah, let's try this again. Danny. Every you! Cloud must have a Tell me your troubles. About those troubles. It all started on uh, uh, June 14th. I was chasing down one of Tannen's boys. When this, uh, this car, straight out of Buck Rogers, popped up out of nowhere and ran my car off the road. No. Then later, I, I lost track of a witness. The poor schlub hasn't been heard from since. That wasn't your fault. And then, to top it off, I somehow managed to lose custody of an 80-year-old arsonist. You know, not one, but two of those godforsaken space cars showed up and whisked him away. <laughs> That's unbelievable. That's what the chief said. Demoted me on the spot. My family sent me to a psych psychiatrist because they thought I was seeing things. And worst of all, 
my gal Betty left me. Cause she thinks I'm a bad provider and a oh, damn. We ruined this guy's <laughs> life. <laughs> Betty, as in Jennifer's grandma Betty? <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Listen, Danny, it's really important that you get back together with Betty. Oh, that ship sailed. What the heck with her? I got a little secret that'll set me up with women twice as classy as Betty will ever be. Okay. You've got a secret? What is it? I don't think I should tell you. When I'm sad like this... Yeah, I there was a secret straight. song. Uh... But listen. <laughs> yeah. Yes? I like you. You're my new best friend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta See put on later, the secret Danny. song now. I'll be here. Uh... Secret song.